Welcome to another installment of the AMSOIL Information Series. I'm Rob Stenberg. Today we're going to talk about snow blower maintenance. The snow has been flying, winter is here, and we want to make sure that your snow blower works well all the way through the winter season. For some tips on how to keep your snow blower working well, we're going to talk to the experts at Denny's Lawn and Garden. Scott, how you doing today? Hi hey Rob, very good. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for letting us be here today. We really appreciate it. We're here to find out the best way to maintain our snowblower, make sure it's ready for the winter season. Okay, great. Uh, for that, we'll walk back to the shop and show you what to do. All right, let's go. Well, I know, Scott, that part of making sure that a snowblower is working well in the winter time is making sure that you store it properly. So if I'm going to store this machine, what's the first step I need to take? First thing I would have started with, every time you buy gas, put the fuel stabilizer in the fuel. Okay. Um, that'll make sure that throughout the season, it's cleaning the carburetor, keeping everything protected, and uh, at the end of the year, it'll, it'll be there. Sure. Uh, now, I know a lot of folks say, when I put this in storage, some say, you know, run it absolutely dry, and others say, make sure you've got the gas tank full. Which one do you prefer? I prefer to run them dry. Okay. At the very least, I like to have the carburetor dry. So most of these fuel tanks have a shutoff valve on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You can shut the fuel valve off, start the engine, let it run until it quits. Then the carburetor is going to be out of fuel. It's going to be dry. Okay, and we want to make sure that that's dry. So I, I've got the fuel stabilized. What's next? From there, I'd take the owner's manual, look at the owner's manual. It's going to say things like change the spark plug, mm -hmm. um, change the oil. So you want the fresh oil in there, you don't want that oil sitting in there, the, the contaminated oil, all summer long. Right, it's best to have the fresh oil so it protects it the best okay. against rust and so forth. Sure. So I drain that into a pan, make sure it's all out. Right, there's no oil filter, so you just drain in the oil and use uh, the proper oil. Uh, most of them are recommend synthetic oil now. Okay, great. All right, so I've got the fuel stabilized, I've got new engine oil in the engine. Where do I go from there? I like to uh, protect the metal on the especially in the auger area. Okay. The rocks and gravel coming out will scratch up the inside of the chute, uh, expose in bare metal. So I like to take metal protector, spray inside of there, spray inside the auger housing. That'll okay. get a lot of scratches and stuff in there too. Um, another point one, since we're up front here, I would take, and there's always a couple grease zerks up here. Okay. Take your grease gun to them, grease them. The auger gearbox has gear oil in it. Uh, it's a good time to check it, make sure that it's full. Okay. Um, Anywhere else for grease points on it? Usually the dry system will have a couple grease points. Okay. There's usually one on maybe on the axle or one on the cross shaft inside. And good time to grease those. Make sure that's done before the season, uh, before you put it into storage, before the next winter season yeah. starts. How about the controls? What do I need to do there? All the controls, they all have moving points on them. I would take and with your spray lube, hit each uh, moving point there. Okay. Make sure they're working freely. It helps protect them, make sure they don't rust up. So I did all of this before I put the machine into storage. The snow is flying. It's time for me to start snow blowing. What do I need to check before I use it for the first time this season? Okay, I'd go back through your arms manual, make sure you did the maintenance, the proper maintenance. Okay. One thing we missed when we're putting it away is uh, I would check your belts, take the belt cover off, Okay. check the belt tension, make sure that the belts are going to last the year. It's a good time to check for critters too, make sure that there's no uh, most nests and sure. debris inside. They like to them. get in there. They do. Uh, check your controls, make sure they're working freely. You don't want them to be binding up. Do so I need to check my engine oil level, make sure nothing's yep. leaked out, anything like right, that? Right, I would check your engine oil again and check the auger gearbox, make sure they're both holding oil. Okay. And uh, turn on the fuel supply to the carburetor and uh, set your engine like you're in start and it should start up for should you. Should start right up. So what is the number one maintenance issue that you see with snow blowers? Number one we see is bad fuel. It just, fuel goes bad quicker than most people think, doesn't it? It does. Uh, most manufacturers, they all say 30 days, mm -hmm. but with a fuel stabilizer, I've seen them extend it out to 90 or maybe a year. So if they've got bad fuel, they run the machine, what happens? It causes hard starting, uh, poor engine performance, and uh, it's going to eventually it's going to gunk up the carburetor to the point where it doesn't run. So you could be shoveling snow instead of throwing snow. Exactly. <laughs> hey Scott, thanks for your time today. Thanks I really for appreciate over. it. For another Amsoil Information Series, I'm Rob Stenberg. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.